So how are you guys doing today? My name is Kryptonic and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best OBS studio settings for streaming or recording, whichever you guys do. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. So of course, I'm going to leave the link down there so you guys can go check it out and you guys can download the normal one or the studio. I'm going to be doing the studio one just because it works a lot better than the classic OBS, which doesn't really run that well when live streaming or stuff. It gives me a lot of hassle compared to OBS studio. So you just want to click download and it'll start the download right away what you guys also need to do is head over to speedtest.net i'm going to leave a link down below click speed test and you know it's going to give you your up and down for your internet and you're going to want to know how fast your internet is just so you know how much you know how much bitrate you can put down for live streaming and stuff like that so this is currently my internet that's going on right now and you're going to want to need this information so that way you can head over here and go to estimator this is where you're going to want to use once you go over to estimator you just put in your computer information and once you have all of this, you can just, you know, get a pretty good result for what settings you could use for your computer or stuff like that. And it just works overall very quickly. So right here, as you can see, my upload speed is around 12. My download speed is around 94. And you're just going to want to put into here and that's it. Very simple. And then you're going to want to head over into, uh, you know, OBS. This is what I'm using right now. I'm rocking the face cam. A lot of the time when I live stream nowadays, I do rock the face cam. I do have a microphone right here, but we're going to head over to the settings over here and like i told you guys before you are going to want to get that information from speed test and then convert it into the obs estimator so that you know what your output is and stuff like that so you know you select your service i am using youtube most of the time since i don't go on twitch too often now i just like live streaming on youtube then you head over to output i have it set to advanced just so you know it's easier for me to work with and your bitrate is really important most of the time you can live stream at 1500 for 720p quality however that is if your internet isn't the greatest and you know you're barely being able to live stream and play a game online without lagging too much but you know the best optimal setting is 2500 and you know this works really well if your internet can handle it and then you're playing fine then this is like the perfect setting this is the setting most people go with but for me i go a little bit overkill and this is the max you can for live streaming 3500 and the reason i do this is because i try to get the best possible quality out of my live streams and you know the thing about setting it really high is that sometimes mobile devices or stuff like that they might not have the best internet quality meaning they can't receive the quality that you're sending so you know sometimes it does get reduced in like youtube or twitch and then from here if you are doing recording like i said i will be doing both what you guys are going to want to do is of course come down here and this is very different so for cbr here the bitrate i have for recording for obs is 10,000, just because 10,000 really does seem to work for me whenever i record it gets the job done overall if you set it to like under 10,000, you can see a little bit of the pixels like not looking as great as they should be but you know this is what works for me and for audio you know you just i leave it at what it is now the next thing you want to do is just go to audio and then here select your default microphone most of the time it is set to default but you know right here i have my gamdia's gaming headset set as my microphone because i don't like using my audio technica when i live stream i prefer using my headset since it's already on my head and easy to go with so right here this is going to be something very important and this is practically so here we go down here and as you guys can see the video this is going to be very important if you guys are live streaming and you know you're trying to get the quality out there you guys might want to reduce it to 1280 by 720 and it downscales it making one the file smaller and to your computer easier to use and from here all you want to do is just select if your computer is really good then you want to select the third one which is sharp and scaling if your computer is all right you can put a uh, cubic which is the middle one and billionaire is just like extremely fast but i mean it does like it says but blurry if scaling and i don't know why i use this my computer can handle the middle one and here you just want to select what you want to output to keep in mind if you guys are live streaming to youtube you're gonna have to select a new streaming path on youtube that is 60 fps you can't just click uh, 60 fps here and expect it to be 60 fps you guys have to go into youtube select your live stream and select encoding and make sure that it's at 60 fps and then you guys can live stream at 60 fps like i've said multiple times i like live streaming at 60 fps and i like keeping my and you know my output to 10 uh 1920 by 1080 because on pc it really does seem to like blur everything up if you downscale it while you're live streaming and now your hotkeys this is very important this is what you're going to be using to record and everything you guys can use a bunch of things right here i only use the start recording stop recording start streaming and stop streaming that's all i really use and for advanced settings unless you have a really bad computer just leave everything how it is because you guys don't want to mess with it the only 
anytime you do mess with the process priority is if your computer is bad and you can't really process things very quickly you're going to want to make your computer run obs at a higher speed and performance and you know it's just going to overall degrade the quality but it makes obs run better on your pc but yeah guys that has been it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did remember to leave a like and a comment down below tell me if you guys have any questions about obs hopefully you guys enjoyed the video have a great day and i'll see you guys around in my old peace guys